After parting with the Theosophical Society, Steiner founded a spiritual movement called Anthroposophy, with roots in German idealist philosophy and theosophy. Other influences include Gothian science and Rosicrucianism. Steiner, who in 1895 had written one of the first books praising Nietzsche, visited him when he was in his sister's Elizabeth's care in 1897. Elizabeth even employed Steiner as a tutor to help her to understand her brother's philosophy, in which she still probably didn't really understand how she allowed it to then aid Nazism. But referring to Nietzsche's mental illness, Steiner said, quote, In inner perception I saw Nietzsche's soul as if hovering over his head, infinitely beautiful in its spiritual light, surrendering to the spiritual worlds it has longed for so much, end quote. Steiner was a member of the Volkisch Wagner Club and anthroposophical authors endorsed Wagner's views on race. Steiner published a periodical, Elusifer, in Berlin from 1903 to 1908. From 1906 to 1940, Steiner was the sovereign grandmaster in Germany of the Rite of Memphis Miseram, to which he added a number of Rosicrucian references. Steiner had been made general secretary of the German Theosophical Society in 1902. By 1904, Steiner was appointed by Annie Besant to be leader of the Theosophical Esoteric Society for Germany and Austria. Steiner finally broke away to found his own Anthroposophical Society in 1912. Steiner's vocal rejection of Liedbeter and Besant's claim that Jido Krishnamurti was the vehicle of a new matria or world leader, led to a formal split in 1912, when Steiner and the majority of members of the German section of the Theosophical Society broke off to form a new group, the Anthroposophical Society. While Blavetsky wrote about the Zoroastrian struggle between Ahura Mazda and Ariman as the forces of light and darkness, Steiner put forward a dualism that pitted Lucifer against Ariman. In Occult Science and Outline, Steiner characterized Lucifer as a being of light, the mediator between man and God, bringing us closer to Christ. The quote, children of Lucifer are therefore those who strive for wisdom, while Adiman leads mankind downward to its lower material carnal animalistic nature. Since people have perverted Christ's actual teachings, Maitreya as the Antichrist will come from Shambhala and purge the world of their blemish and teach the true message of Christ.